A one-year-old boy is dead after he was shot in the head in Brooklyn over the weekend. The murder of a one-year-old baby. I've seen a lot in my years here in Brownsville. This is it. To take a young mother and father to identify a one-year-old baby is horrible. According to police, Antique Hennis's parents were pushing him in his stroller Saturday night when an unknown gunman shot their son in the left side of his skull, a block from the family home. It was like four shots, like one, one, one of the next, bang, 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 bang. I got really scared, I panicked. So I turned back and I saw people start running and everybody keeps saying it's a child, the child's in the stroller. Antique was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead at the scene. Police haven't addressed the gunman's possible motive, but community members say they believe the father was the intended target. It's got to be a code in the street that it's a, it's, it's a non-deal if you see somebody with their family members walk away, wait for another opportunity. We don't condone shootings at all, but if it's to save lives, this is what the measures they have to take. You know, maybe that's not the proper time to take a shot at somebody. According to the New York Daily News, Antique is the 16th child to have been shot on the streets of New York since mid-May. Just over a week ago, a three-year-old boy was shot in the head as he slept in his crib in Brooklyn. And earlier this week in Georgia, a jury convicted an 18-year-old man in the fatal shooting of another one-year-old baby in a stroller. Investigators say they are still looking for the gunman and have made no arrests at this time. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagenhorn.